Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Should I press to the first stop or the second stop? First. First stop. This is a wonderful partnership between Cold Spring Harbor Labs and uh, National Grid Foundation bringing science education to life here in, in Central Islip and using DNA as a way to excite kids about careers in science and, and in this case they got a very good lesson today about how DNA is used in, in crime scene investigation. Make sure it's in the 050. Zero five zero. All right, I think the evidence should go first. It's very, very important for children to become engaged in science, for Long Island as a region to be successful, and ultimately for our nation to be successful. So here we can see that this is your suspect number one, here's number two. Now here is suspect number three, and your evidence is all the way to the far right. So what the kids did is they actually performed a, a forensic experiment. They had some evidence and then they had three suspects. The objective was to look at the patterning that existed amongst all sources of DNA and identify between the evidence and what suspects actually matched. This is spectacular because it just expands their knowledge at a very early age and can actually influence them as a springboard going into the next level of science. So they'll only just know more at that time when they decide to go to college, they'll have just an edge up. So it was really fun for me to come back because the main thing is that I actually used to go to this school and I want them to see that, look, you know, I went through the same system and here I am and if you want to be a scientist, I can help you. No matter, even if you're, you're loading it slightly off, you'll still see the, the, the hue of DNA as it's patterned through you. Well, these are different times. Children have access to more technology. They're aware of things. They're, uh, some of the students uh, have uh, said to me in the past, well, we watched a number of the, the, you know, the animal channels and discovery channels and things like that. And um, they pretty much know a lot. So we have to come up and step up on our game and give them more. This is a very innovative and interesting way for students to learn forensic science and to have the hands-on and be a scientist for day and now they understand how to use DNA as evidence. And I thought this was wonderful. Dr. Watkins was phenomenal. The students absolutely loved him. They loved him so much they went for his autograph. <laughs> and the National Grid, the funding, thank you very much. Yay! Oh, it was excellent. It's so impressive for sixth graders. I was a biology major in college and I think my first DNA instruction was probably my junior year. <laughs> Um, and it's amazing that they and they really get it and they really are understanding and absorbing and asking excellent questions and you know they understand you know what this means for not just what they're studying but what it can mean for them in the years to come which is really amazing through the DNA Learning Center we deliver hands-on bi biology and genetics education you know to literally thousands of Long Island kids every year. So it's through programs like this that'll be in the schools. Um, there's other schools that they come to the DNA Learning Center during the school year for field trips and hands-on labs, combinations, um, working with their teachers, teaching their teachers how to teach these labs. I mean, it's really across the board, but we really have an ongoing um, interaction with thousands and thousands of Long Island um, middle and high school students for their biology education. My favorite part was actually when we inserted the dyes into it and then we had to find out about which suspect did what, so which matched the evidence. It's actually really fun to do, it's hands-on. It's not like textbook, textbook you're reading and you're not really remembering. When you're doing hands-on, you remember it and it's easier to understand it. This is exciting for me today because I like to write a lot too, so I could write about this in a journal. These are incredibly bright and gifted children and they have a chance to make a real difference in the world by discovering uh, you know the next new technology that's going to change mankind. Every one of them has that ability in here and we want to help them realize their potential. I really liked it and that it was a fun experiment. I actually had fun in school.